Today we're going to be doing our formal bridal portraits. We're going to be using the deep umbrellas, both a 53 inch and a 43 inch. These are great tools to give you quality of light, not necessarily quantity of light. What I mean by that is I choose to use speed lights. I often work alone so I can do more with more speed lights than trying to lug around a few big strobes. In this instance, I'm using the deep umbrellas, a 53 inch and a 43 inch. I'm also choosing to use the silver umbrella. The reason being is that I want to maximize the output from my little speed light. Speed lights are roughly 50, 60 watt seconds of output, but we can get great quality of light from those speed lights by using the deep umbrella and by also combining it with the silver interior. That's going to give me the beautiful quality of light and the specularity I'm looking for. The silver is going to put nice little highlights and details in the dark tones of the tuxedo. I'm using two of them so that I can throw my light evenly across the entire wedding party. I'm not necessarily looking for cool, creative, edgy light in a situation like this. Oftentimes you know you're on a time crunch and you might get 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes on the long side to accomplish these formals. So my workflow is to come in, set up my lights, and I'm going to be again, again using the 53 inch and the 43 inch. Now when I'm doing just the bride and groom, I'll allow the 53 inch to be a main and the 43 to be a fill. But once we combine the entire bridal party, they're going to be pretty equal in their output so I don't have to worry about any cross shadows. So my workflow is beginning with the bride and groom, then we'll do the bride alone, then the groom alone. Then we'll bring in the wedding party. We'll do the entire wedding party with the bride and groom. And then we'll split that off. The bride with the bridesmaids, the groom with the groomsmen, and then vice versa, meaning we'll put the bride up with the groomsmen, and then the groom up with the bridesmaids. This way we're gonna cover it all. We're gonna get some high quality, beautiful images. Just because your cameras today can capture an image in just about any type of light doesn't mean it's good quality of light. Strive for good quality of light. By using the deep umbrellas, it allows me to get that high quality of light even though I'm using a speed light. All right, that's a wrap. We've completed our formal bridal photos here at the altar. This was a very efficient way to use speed lights to get high quality of light. We don't need to sacrifice quality just because we're using the small flash. The deep umbrellas allow me to get these high quality images. The bride and groom are off to the reception, so now I can join them.